which is getting on my other account. How's everyone doing today? Hi, Brian. I saw you right off the bat. Let's get people going here. How's everyone doing today? Good morning, everyone. It's freaking 5.05 .05 a.m. here. What time is it there? I always am so curious. You guys, if you start tapping the screen, it'll just let everyone know that I'm on and ready to shoot the shit. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Brian. So, okay, what time is it in London, Brian? I always forget what our time zones are. And everyone, and what's everyone's morning drink of choice? I would like to tell you for, well, a great way to start the morning is with warm water and lemon and honey and cayenne pepper. This, oh, you're in South Africa. I freaking love it. Oh, it's 1.05 p.m. So you're five, okay. I love that you're from South Africa. How is South Africa doing? And what is everyone's drink of choice in the morning? Do you like coffee? Do you like tea? What is everyone doing? You guys, I, oh good, I'm so glad. You know, I had such an amazing morning. I love going live, like it's been so fun. And then I got off my live yesterday and my castor oil account is restricted. So I have two restricted, I have two accounts restricted right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, leave some hearts down below, you guys. This is my, oh shoot, wrong one. <laughs> Well, there's my castor oil things account. It's restricted. There's a ton of videos on there though about castor oil, the ones that are still up ringing in the ear. Um, but that's why I want to get on more frequently so I can answer the questions because you guys, my accounts keep getting violated. They keep getting taken down and I'm trying not to be discouraged and all that stuff. Oh, actually, maybe I will go back to that. Um, so anyways, how's everyone doing this morning? Okay, we got a coffee drinker. What a warm lemon honey. Oh, an apple cider vinegar. I drank apple cider vinegar for a trillion, a trillion years. Hi, Pavel. How are you? Good morning from Poconos in Pennsylvania. I love that. New York. Hello, everyone. And what's everyone drinking this morning? I'm doing coffee. I'm doing coffee this morning. But there are definitely times when I'm a good girl and I do warm water with lemon and la la la. Coffee over there. I love it. Okay, you guys, I'm not even kidding. I have a third freaking account. Um, Susan's favorite things. Because you guys, you know I freaking retire. Ah! Oh my God, what am I doing? Sorry, I love how I like don't know how to use my own um, iPad. Look at me, that made me sweaty, that made me hot. I didn't know how to figure out how to. <laughs> Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to go to my live so I can show you guys my other freaking cat. Does anyone have any questions this morning? Ooh, Barry's Irish tea, yum. Ooh, I love me a good like English breakfast tea or like a good, I love a good tea. You know how like certain times of year you get in the mood for certain things? Like right now I'm fairly obsessed with iced coffees. Okay, so you guys, I'm on my freaking um, live. This is my other account down below. My When you see the hearts on the screen, there you go. That is my Susan's Favorite Things account. You guys, at this point, if I want to continue to monetize and make this my profession, I have to just do it all. So if you guys could pick up that account and then my last couple of videos, I have a really great video about charcoal and I'm like obsessed. Does everyone know the benefits of charcoal already? Like everyone who, I, I, I can't believe I didn't know this, especially being a mom. Like if you, if, if you, got poisoned, let's say, or even your pets got poisoned or your children and you called poison control, they would say to you, do you have any charcoal? <laughs> anyway, so everyone make sure you're picking, you're picking up that account. Okay. Let's start answering castor oil questions. If, if, unless anyone has any, you guys, I would love, you could start heart in the screen, share it out. And you know, let me, let me know any questions you might have. If not, I can definitely just go to my comment section and start answering questions from the night before. Okay, we got 22 comments from the night before, so we have plenty to talk about. But you guys, if you have any questions about natural remedies, just shoot them on the screen. I mean, right now I have, my son's baseball team is dealing with like a, <clears throat> a throat situation. Um, and so I have everyone gargling with um, the stuff in the brown bottle, diluted. If you gargle with it, if you guys know what I'm talking about, the stuff in the brown bottle that starts with eight, initials are HP. Diluting that and gargling with that. If you want to get rid of any sickness coming on. Mm. 
What else? Oh, how did everyone sleep last night? Does everyone know the benefits of magnesium spray? So my mom, so here, I'm the hippie. Oh, by the way, I'm Susan. I'm 43 and I'm just doing all the things. Um, but my mom and my parents, I mean, they are like, I'm a hippie. I'm not into like pharmaceuticals. They are not like me. That's okay. Um, but they, my mom has been on like sleep aids for so long. She hasn't been able to sleep well. And I'm like, mom, will you please just start spraying magnesium spray on the bottom of her feet? And she literally the other day was like, oh, it's Susan. She's very sweet and passive, unlike me. And um, she's like, I just can't believe it. I'm sleeping so well. And I'm like, yeah, I, I told you. <laughs> I told you you would. So does, there, does anyone else know about the benefits of magnesium spray? Okay. Um, be careful. This person says, be careful. Oils can give you chemical pneumonia. Hmm. I have not even heard of such a thing, exclamation point. I love learning new things. My, I need to like, oh, you use it every night. That is awesome. What do you use every night actually? Of what, castor oil? Oh, magnesium oil spray. We were just talking about it. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys, hey, make sure everyone is following me up there. And then if you wouldn't mind following my backup account. And I mean, you don't have to, but if you're interested in the things I talk about, like you guys, do you know about these freaking face pads, these turmeric and chamomile and kojic acid cleansing pads? Like they're exfoliated. Um, did you, so I just did a video. How do I have so much morning energy, you ask? I don't freaking know. Um, I just did a video on my Susan's Favorite Things account that I just I did the hearts on. You guys, this side, one side is exfoliating and I'm gonna do it in a little bit and the other side is like smooth. You just massage it for like three minutes. Turmeric, do you guys know the benefits of turmeric? I actually literally have turmeric powder, turmeric in my shower because every morning, I'm actually, well, now I'm doing this every morning. Ooh, I should start doing my honey face masks right here with you guys. Anyways, I almost always start my morning with some sort of honey like literally like honey from the, well, I get local honey, but honey on your face for your skin is so freaking good, but you can add baking soda to it for an exfoliant, for brightening. You can add turmeric to it for the same idea, brightening, age spots, wrinkles. Um, that, uh, the baking soda can be a little bit drying. You can also add coffee grounds to your honey. Like there are so many things that we can do at home for like brightening our skin. This month I'm focusing on getting my skin back on track. Like you can see all this, you guys, I have been under so much stress. I mean, is anyone else also like, I feel like there's stuff going on in the universe and depending on what you believe in, God, universe, spirit, blah, blah, blah. What I personally have learned these last couple years, like I went through in a complete emotional breakdown, like rock bottom a couple years ago, like, hello, who didn't camp pandemic, COVID vaccine. I mean, oh my gosh. But what I've learned is like, it's, it's how you get through the things, right? Like you, it's, it's, everything was meant for a reason. So like these freaking accounts being down right now, I was like, I had such a great morning with you guys, whoever was on with me yesterday morning. And then I get off and I check my account and it's gone. You never want to leave your house. You know, I love my house too. You guys, I live separately from my family. So I'm 43, ha very happily married now. <laughs> I'm married to my high school sweetheart. I just scooted my chair back and something fell. You know what? We're just going to deal with that later. But <laughs> I went through my freaking, my freaking frick and... Anyways, we had this apartment, we built this apartment above our garage, like first is what we lived in first when we were like, you know, just married. And then we always rented it out for years and years. And then we let a family member move in. I mean, you guys can like read between the lines, right? Like we let a family member move in, not on my side of the family, not that that actually matters. But, you know, I'm a giver, I'm a people pleaser. So of course I'm like, yes, of course they can move in. And I end up being a caregiver, like it's a whole story. You want some of my energy, Brenda? Thank you so much for the message. And I hope you don't mind. Well, no one even knows you, but Brenda, who just messaged, she's someone I know from my childhood. And I shared yesterday that like, you know, like, because, okay, ugh, I'm just jumping all over the place, you guys. I don't know where I get this energy. I just don't. I shared how I was someone who had chronic pain my whole life and just repressed anger and, and stress and trauma from my childhood. However, my childhood was great. Like my, I mean, my parents are fantastic. They're lovely. But my mom, she's like this very passive, 
person who, and I'm just high energy and I would get picked on and I didn't, you know, she wouldn't say to me like, Susan, what's going on? I just spent so much time in my room. I literally missed a week of school because two girls were picking on me and I just told my mom I didn't feel good. But sh anyways, I'm not going to blame her for that. My mom had a hard childhood. My dad had a ch hard childhood. They didn't know how to parent. I mean, and my mom was a great parent. However, all this chronic pain I had, I read the book Healing Back Pain by Dr. Sarno and it changed my life. I mean, I had neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, and I'm a, I was a hairstylist, just retired, so I had legit reasons for this pain. But then after I was done through all that and after I went through this emotional breakdown, after I stopped drinking, I'm done alcohol free for two years. I've been two years alcohol free. Ugh. Life is so much better, I swear. That's, that's why I have all this energy too. When you go through this like rock bottom depression and you're like doing everything for everyone else and no one is helping you and no one is seeing how much you're giving, you know what I mean? Like, anyways, thank you so much, Erica. So that's what I was going to say is Brenda sent me like the nicest message, like, you know, kind of like a grass is always greener. Like she looked at my life and maybe thought, oh, she's got it so good. Right. And the thing is I did, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to, I did have a very nice life, but there was just a lot of time spent alone, 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 alone. The thing is I do love being alone and I now have this entire space that I get to be this loud and this bubbly in the morning. So once this family member moved away, you know, it, it was very traumatic. Um, we decided we never want to rent out this apartment again. And we just used it kind of for ourselves. Like the boys mostly used it. I bet I didn't come over here for like a year. I'm not even kidding. Um, <clears throat> thank you. I do work hard. I am a that's what's been hard about the, the TikTok being down, my accounts being down, because I retired from doing hair to focus on this because, oh my gosh, helping people, holy hell. Like, I live in Washington State, and so there was a definitely big divide as far as, like, when the vaccine all happened, and our family chose not to, and it was hard on our family, hard on me, very judged, very, oh my gosh, the things that were said to me. And so being able to share all this knowledge with people who actually give a shit, I mean, oh my gosh, my life has changed. But then... They take my accounts away. So like I, I make enough money where I can retire and now I have restricted accounts for like 30 days or 90 days. But I'm a saver. Your girl is a saver. And I've always been very frugal. And so there's no way I would have retired if I wouldn't have been able to, um, what? I'm not going to screw us. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to screw us up. You know what I mean? Like, but I've been, a, I was a hairstylist for 25 years. You guys, that is a long time to do any profession. Love my clients. And I ended up having to, I did get rid of a few um, during during and after the pandemic. The ones who were like, made me feel like garbage in my own house. A beautiful salon in my own house. Like, I love my profession. Loved it. But I just, I was still providing service and I couldn't, I couldn't not provide service. Like, even if I had to cancel on my clients for various reasons, I still had to get them done. Anyways, I've never had to miss a face, you know, a field trip or anything. So I love my profession, but I want to be able to, do this. So I'd have, so with, after the um, vaccine, unfortunately, so many of my clients were getting sick or so many of their family members. And I was, would say things like, Hey, have you heard about black seed oil? Or have you heard about Sheila G? Um, I, I would try to, 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 I don't know, without saying too much. Cause if people don't want to know about natural remedies, they don't want to know. They want to go to their doctor. They want to get prescribed a pharmaceutical. I have family members who are that way. My parents, my sister has permanent hearing loss from the vaccine. Um, this is me, Cher. I love it. Oh, Cher, thank you. And you guys, heart the screen. Leave me some comments. I mean, I just would, you know, anyways. Um, I would love, I, I would have loved to hear that. Yeah, we are indoctrinated. I know, Mia, I know you guys. I'm see, this is why, like it almost brings tears to my eyes. I'm not even kidding. Because imagine being stuck, providing service to someone, doing their hair, and them telling me that I'm doing something wrong for my family and my fight or flight response you guys like a couple years ago people couldn't even mention the word vaccine and even during a massage my massage um and she was like-minded like me but she, my massage therapist um and you know how so many people lost their periods or lost their like their menstrual cycles got all got screwy once they got the shot she and you guys heard about like the shedding and stuff i hope i don't get in trouble for talking about this but anyways she literally lost her period and whatnot just from massaging people. And I was, I'm in the service industry, so I'm shampooing people. And I mean, so my fight or flight would go off even during a massage. 
Um, oh, I never catch lives. Thanks for being someone I can look. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm so glad. Sarah, thank you so much for telling me that. You have no idea. I so appreciate it. So, you know, even this morning I woke up with stress and anxiety. Like I, I'm, I'm over two years alcohol free, but you know, you just, I'm such a people pleaser. And then when I get my accounts restricted, it just, I feel like the universe is telling me to get off this app, you know, like it must be for a reason. But I don't, but I, I, I literally have retired. I don't have anyone to visit with. And I love my freaking three years for you. So awesome. My, you guys, I got like, me and my husband were good drinkers. We were fun. We started at like 19. The drinking age in Canada is 19 and we live in Washington state. And we were good, like responsible drinkers. Like we got cabs and we would get hammered though. I mean, we drank to get drunk. But I think what happened was like, we, and then even when we started having kids, you guys, I'm literally going to tap my own screen. If you tap the screen enough, um, the heart will fill up over here and then confetti will rain down. You guys, it literally, it just helps push the algorithm. It makes, it helps more people see me because I really want to help more people. Okay. So see that if you tap it enough, watch confetti will rain down. Oh, it didn't, it didn't rain down. Also, you guys, I just want to show you real quick too. If anything I'm ever talking about, um, grounding pads, um, the Glowtech Pro Mask, anything, if you go to any of my profiles, any of my profiles have this link above my videos and it'll take you to my link tree and stuff. So you guys, anything I ever talk about, because, and this is like all my stuff, and it has my Shamazon storefronts. I just want to tell you that right now because like I said, I have accounts restricted just for being honest, just for showing and sharing how I help people. And of course, castor oil can do so many things for us. And I have an entire series about it and it was changing my life. And then I made another account, um, castor oil things account. And then that one got is restricted right now too. So, oh my gosh. Oh, I've turned at least four girlfriends into you. Oh gosh. Thank you. User seven, nine, three, six, seven. That makes me so Happy. Oh, I always feel sick when I'm around or in a room full of, oh, I know. Isn't that weird, Cher? So I, I originally got on this app almost like I'm going to save the vaccinated and I'm going to, but kind of cranky. And like, I don't know. I, I was like, I was almost mad at the people. Ugh. What I realize now, it's like, how could you not have felt that way if you weren't an avid researcher? I have been an avid researcher since I found out I was pregnant, you know, 18 years ago, and I was drinking, and I was so unhealthy, and I was depressed. Good morning, Vic! And, and so I, I needed, and oh, my older son, who you guys, our older son is going off to Montana State, and he just got awarded, like, the biggest scholarship you could ever get, and it's all on merit. Because I don't know if anyone else agrees with this, but I am raising two white boys, the hated most hated race. I mean, they're not getting scholarships, but he's worked so hard. And so all these great things are happening. So when my accounts go down, I just, it's how you deal with it. Right? So I, I didn't cry. I just looked at it and thought, okay, well, bummer, you know, and it's like, I had to do some damage control, but going through these hard freaking times and how you handle them is literally the life lesson. And so going through all this shit at 43 years old and being able to, my kids watch me go through it. Like I, obviously if I'm this open on TikTok, imagine, I mean, there's nothing not talked about at my, in my home life. There's nothing not talked about at home, like everything. So when I was, even when at the end of my drinking, it was my younger son who said to me, mom, are you going to do that hundred days again? Cause one time I went a hundred days alcohol free here. I thought I was fun mom, right? I thought, I thought the kids liked it when I had a few drinks, but it just consumed me. So I have finally, oh, I'm so glad Sarah. I'm so glad that I, and it was hard. Every single person in my life drinks, everyone. And everyone enabled me because everyone else wanted to drink. So if I stopped drinking, then that would make them have to stop drink. Like it was such a, it was just this weird thing. And, and my husband and I, we were the drinkers. We were the instigators. Like we were like, and life of the party. And we were such good drinkers because we never fought. Like we, if one of us, and I'm talking about even before we were married, like in our twenties, cause we've been together for 20 years, you guys. And I mean, life was so great. And, and just, if one of us wanted to leave the party, the other one would want to leave. And we'd walk into this one bar and they were like, it was like cheers. It was like the people, you know, it was me and this group of guys, Nick, Robbie, Ray, Garrett. I mean, funnest times of my life, right? So I don't regret the drinking. And I definitely like, as my son is going off to college, I want, and I want my children 
I don't want to be this like, no, you can't drink and you can't drugs and you can't, because it's not the truth. But certain people have addictive personalities. And when I stopped, I stopped for four or five months drinking. And then my goal was to have a better relationship because like I said, literally everyone in my life drank. My Everyone, especially my husband, right? And, and so I wanted to be able to, to drink with him. Like I wanted to be able to like, I picture our retirement having a cocktail on our road trip. But the truth is I had a mimosa and then that day I kind of went for it and I thought, okay, I'm not going to, I will start again tomorrow. And it just, these old habits and tricks started trickling back. So I was so proud of my younger son for having the, I was going to say the balls, having the nerve to say, Hey mom, are you going to, are you going to do that hundred days again? That moment I stopped drinking for good. Oh, you guys, the book I read, um, what can you not get enough of? Oh, um. I don't, I don't know. Did I say something in, oh, and when you get quit, everyone, oh, and when you quit, everyone disappears. Okay, Sarah. So that was the hardest thing to like, um, I'm just going to go to my live on both of my accounts because I want to support myself. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already my screen on both my accounts. <coughs> that was the hardest thing too. When I say everyone drank around me, I'm like, it's like, I'm not even, um, oh, young baby in my butt. Oh, sorry. Um, um, everyone was drinking around me and it was almost like everyone wanted me to have a better relationship with alcohol. So they could, could keep drinking you guys, me not, and me and my husband are very well known in this community. And I'd say we were, we're respected. Like my husband is on the rotary and the boards and hospital foundation. And I was on a children's hospital guild. So that's the funniest thing about drinking. It's like my husband would go on these golf, you know, he's a banker. So we'd go to these golf tournaments and these golf days and they would just get hammered. I used to love picking my husband up from golf tournaments. I mean, I would show up, you know, probably only having like one or two drinks in me, fresh faced and these drunk older golfer men. I mean, it's like we worked so well together drinking and then we would have so much fun. But I mean, we definitely, and we always took cabs and it's funny because we actually have a gate and our, the cab companies like knew our gate code. And my thing was I'd always have a koozie. I was a beer only drinker. I'd always have a koozie. It was my thing. And like one morning, like the cab company even dropped off. I mean, his name was Rick. I know it's like, I mean, we live in a small town. So that's why I'm saying like, there was no reason for me to stop because I was so high functioning. My kids, breakfast, my kids have never had a school lunch. Breakfast made every morning. Like I was so high functioning that I allowed myself and everyone around me. Nobody knew how bad it had gotten though. You know, right before the lockdown, I'm not going to pretend things were not bad. I was already drinking too much before the lockdown, but you're locking me down with two kids and I am not, I'm kind of like anti, I'm not anti-school, but the pyramid scheme of school did not work for this brain. My kids, it works fine with, but you're trying to tell me that I have to try and teach my kids at home, you guys, I freaking lucked out. My older son was an eighth grader going into freshman year. He's a freaking genius. I, I, it's all I can say about him. I, I can't even handle, it's, it's crazy how smart he is. Ah, I can't even handle it. So I lucked out. He was able to take care of himself. My younger son, I could write a book about his, his teacher. I, if anyone's a teacher out there, I love you. I, I appreciate you. I can't believe how hard teachers work. I would never do that. Um, you are amazing, but this teacher, Miss Downey, she was just all about making sure that my son's needs were met and mine. So I lucked out during the pandemic. We live on some acre or some land. My boys played well. So I actually, with the lot, my husband went to work. He was considered essential, which he was. He was a banker, those PPP loans. I don't know. First time he was ever super stressed at work. Um, but, you know, again, kept drinking. We had someone living in the apartment that was it just ended up being a very toxic situation. Drink, drink, drink. So what it changed for me is I started drinking to cope. And when I was sad, that's when it changed. And then I started drinking in the mornings. And then you guys, I mean, no one knows that. No one even knows how bad it is. When I say it out loud, like I've done, I did actually on this, I'm on my castor oil things. No, I'm on Susan doing Susan things. I have, um, I think four or five videos in a row, a succession of them where I just talk about my whole life or my whole alcohol free life. Um, uh, on a live and then I, I uploaded it but my husband watched some of the videos and he just was like he came to me hugged me he's like Susan I just I didn't know I mean he didn't you guys I was so high functioning like 
it's just incredible. Oh my gosh. But, but so I stopped drinking for like three months and he was still, he was like responsibly drinking, but not like if he, he drank to get drunk, like he never drank during the week. So that was like the thing, like, well, I don't drink during the week. I did wine. Wine is like a big warm hug. That's the one thing where I'm telling my kids about drinking, especially our older son is getting ready to go to Montana state and you know, and he's seen what I've been through and he, and he, he's a thumb picker. He has all the tendencies, all the binge tendencies, binge eating sugar. Like, but I'm glad I can say that to him. Like you just, you're going to need to watch it. You're going to need to be aware, but in different. And, and I wanted to educate him on different alcohol, but you guys, the lockdown was so determined. Oh, I know the lockdown, the lockdown, the, everything they did has been proven to be wrong. And then again, I live in Washington state and I had a different point of view. You guys, you all know what I thought? I thought, why don't we all just get together and get COVID? I was persecuted. I, I can't even, you guys, there was restaurants we couldn't go in. I just one spa I used to go to. Nope, couldn't go in there anymore. I, my, my, my older son lost his sense of smell because he had to get tested so much. Did you guys know that? Like we knew there was probably stuff at the end of those testing swabs. Yeah, there was. And we got a smell back with castor oil, you guys. I mean, if you have any sort of sinus issues, at all or the ringing in the ear which is another side effect of the jibber jab um massage castor oil we did castor oil packs strips i took organic cotton rounds and then a strip on his nose while he's playing xbox we avoided sinusitis surgery so anyways yeah there was but he had to get tested like every three days or or that might be excessive what well, could that be true Anyways, he had to get tested so often and we couldn't say no because i had to pick my battles you guys even hand sanitizer do you know how aggressively against hand sanitizer I am. It's literally pumping cancer carcinogens into your hand. I'll take the germs, you know, but go ahead and pump my kids full. Like I had to pick my battles. Like don't, as long as you're not going to inject anyone with anything, then fine, fine. You, you're the same, Sarah. Oh, I love it. You are amazing. Like, and thank you so much for the comments, you guys. Like just use, yeah, you use CO. I love it. I, castor oils changed my life. I mean, that's, and that's why I got on this app. Like, these, this app changed my life. That's why it pisses me off that I keep getting restricted. And, but that is why also I'm so loyal to it. People are like, you need to go to YouTube or you need to go to Insta. And I do, I am kind of on there. They're just the same videos that are on all my different accounts, but I don't want to. I'm so loyal to this app because it changed my life. Like I discovered this app in the heart of my drinking. And I remember one day being extremely hungover in my house, scrolling through TikTok and, or, and I just thought, cause I was in the, into like the Insta reels. I'm like, it's all the same thing. TikTok changed my life. You guys, the people that come on your screen that say, you know, <clears throat> and they're doing their tarot cards and they're doing their cards and they're doing, they say, if you see this, it's for a reason. Those people changed my life. I know, I know I'm not the only one with the censorship and actually makes me feel better almost. You guys, I woke up to my main account having 300 less followers and I don't, I don't lose follow. I mean, I, I do lose some followers. Don't get me wrong, but I am in a constant, like, I'm so lucky that I'm in a constant, I, I, I always wake up to at least 20 followers or more. And I, and I haven't, I hadn't checked my analytics lately. And so I went and cause it was 300 followers were gone. Cause I'm almost to 200,000. So I've been, you know, I'm checking it and I was like, oh my gosh, but, um, anyways, they, they're, I, I don't know what happened, but that's just another thing. Like these little signs, like, does it mean I'm supposed to stop on this app or does it mean just power through? But even this morning, Sarah, and even like the comments I've gotten, like, um, oh, well, Jamie Lee, there's so many benefits of gas or oil, but I just appreciate even, and I tell myself, cause I had anxiety this morning. I tell myself like, even if there's one person who's like, yes, I agree. Or thank you. Or la la la, um, power through. I will. I mean, it's just, I'm glad I saved my money. I've always been frugal. Like I said, like I've always, I'm glad I've always had this weird frugalness in me. Um, you have a blessed day too. Are you leaving Sarah? Mm. Maybe I should do my, my thingy. Oh, castor oil. So there are so many benefits of castor oil. I can't, I don't even know where to start. Like I literally have it on my scalp right now because today is a hair wash day. So if you put it on your scalp and massage it in, it can, it's good for hair growth. It's good for hair growth on your brows, your lashes. I massaged it into my eyelids and got completely got rid of my floaters. Do you guys know what um, floaters are? Those weird like specks that flow by. You guys, how old is everyone that's watching? I'm 43. I feel like usually everyone's like my age and older and it just, it makes me so happy because remember when people, even now, people have no clue what I'm doing on this app. 
like I retired from hair. I did a Facebook post. I had 67 clients that I gave away to three people. 41, 52, 36, 60, 31. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. You guys. Okay. 60, 36, 46, 32. I love it. Okay. So we're like perimenopausal beforehand. You turned 60, Cher. Happy birthday. Did you do anything fun? 43 in July, Brenda. I love oh yeah. And I'm 43 too. You're a hairdresser too, Jamie. I just retired after 25 years. It's so funny. Another reason why I wanted to retire, just because, you know, I'm short. And so like breathing in all those chemicals, but I'm like switched for like a job that is, you know, all these electronics. Okay. I love it. It's great that you guys in your thirties are on here because seriously, I felt so lucky. Most of my clients were like my age and older. And so I got to watch them go through like perimenopause. I got to watch them go through their shit with their kids. So I'm so grateful because like this one client her name's jill and she's exactly like 10 years older than me and she's just beautiful and everything that she kind of she even went through the c word and i even thought like if that ever happened to me i'm gonna be just like jill so anyways it's it's i'm glad that you're watching me because i'm 43 i'm 10 years older than you and you are going to get to know like you're gonna have your hormones balanced and you know what i mean you're five one and you struggle sometimes with breathe okay jamie and seriously it's like our foils are right here and we're just in breathing it in during the pandemic. Like I, I was, I had a salon in my own house, but you better believe I masked because I'm a rule follower. I, I, you know, people didn't believe in the masking. I feel like if you both were, Oh, you, Oh, Oh, you went through the C word share. Did you know about sour sop tea, apricot kernels, things like that share? Like there's so many things. Oh, thank you so much. I love my energy too. And I, I have this energy because I went through depression. <laughs> now I'm not depressed and I get to be this way. I thought I only got to be fun and silly if I was drinking. No, I get to be fun and silly even if I'm just having some coffee. <laughs> but breathing in all those chemicals, I mean, I so I would wear the mask during you know the pandemic and I'm thinking I should have been wearing the mask the whole time during my job. Um, oh, used, okay, oh, oh, you did? Used nothing but castor oil packs? Share. Are you freaking telling me that you got rid of your C word without, without chemo and stuff? Share the re the reason why I retired. The nail, what's that? The coffin, the nail that put the coffin in the, what am I trying to say? What's, what's that? The nail that put the coffin in the thingy? Um. You, you will, you will get where I am. You totally will. It's just baby steps. Like I had to start, like I, I woke up this morning with so much stress and anxiety. Just, I don't know why. Oh, I do know why. I eat sugar before bed. Um, but I just start telling myself right when I wake, love, love, I love, I love myself. I love my life. I, I just, I start, I don't let myself go down this rabbit hole of, oh God, should I get on the live? If any, is anyone going to be there? Nobody cares. Nope. Love, 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 Susan. One person's going to get on. You're going to, I mean, so it, it's kind of easing your, easing your way in. Um, the nail that closes the casket. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I was trying to go for. Um, so, but okay, so I have this client who I've actually, it was my, when my parents moved to this area, they met this woman because she lost her chickens and my dad helped her find her chickens and then they had a, they, they uh, bonded. And so I've known this woman for, I mean, my whole life and she's a yoga instructor. I mean, she's a yoga instructor who like, an old school yoga instructor. And, and I think if anyone knows any yoga instructors, we know that they are healthy. They are grounded. They are people who don't get the C word. Um, she was affected and she's a big old, um, she is, I was going to say something mean and I don't want to say that. So she followed all the rules. Let's just put it that way. She was someone who didn't even, didn't even bat an eye. Of course she was going to get the shot. She works in a hospital. She teaches um, yoga at the hospital, actually. It's a really cool program that she does. And so it's no questions asked. She ended up with asthma, ended up in the hospital with asthma and myocarditis. Okay, that was like, I couldn't believe that happened to her. Then it was happening all around me, all around me, myocarditis. I mean, I cannot believe all the people that are sick around me, my own clients, the, the, you know, the vaginal stuff, the, the, the skin stuff, the, 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 oh my God, everyone was getting sick. And so I was trying to ease my way out of hair, not just because of the pandemic, just because I was getting kind of burned out. You know what I mean? Um, and, uh, sorry, my friends were, and I were laughing saying that we've got the sea oil. Oh, oh, I agree. Like I just need to bathe in castor oil. So anyways, that same client that I'm talking about, you guys stage four double mastectomy, like it does not make sense. She is, 
so healthy and so wonderful. And, and I thought, and she, I was one of the first people she told and we cried and we hugged and I was like, we will get through this. Like I literally was like, I, we will get through this. We are going to get you on this. But she said to me, she's like, hi, um, oh, from Melbourne. Thank you. Sango. I love it. Um, she was interested in my natural remedies. And I said to her, I'm like, I don't want to bombard you. I'm just going to email you some information. Soursop tea, apricot kernels. Those were the two that I was like, mm, please look at this. Black seed oil. Um, things that you can do in conjunction if you get the pharmaceuticals, the chemo. And unfortunately, she, and I wasn't going to push because I already was on this app. I already knew people wanted this information. I already knew that there was people who were like, tell me more, right? And so she had, oh, I just thought that she was at least going to do something. I made a, you guys, I was going to go to her house with a care package and I was going to go through her whole house and get rid of the cancer causing ingredients and like the, and I had shampoos and conditioners I was going to bring her and, and I was going to bring her this through Renanda. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. And, and it just, I can't help people that don't want to be helped. And that was so, it, it was hard for me. And like I said, my sister legit has permanent hearing loss from getting it willingly. Um, and, and she has yet to try castor oil. It's just, it, you know, it's just, ah, right. Um, oh, share. I, okay. So you said, sorry, I want to go back to share. You said that it hadn't spread. Okay. My friends were laughing. Okay. I ended up with stage one ovary. I did have ovaries removed. Okay. And then you did. And then, okay. That's my story. Lost a ton of hair. Made my own rosemary spray. Use. Oh my God, that's amazing. I just, I'm not saying that if I got diagnosed with something right now that I wouldn't go to the doctors. I, I mean, I, I'm just, I just think that there's, there's, a, there's a time for both, right? Um, there's, yes, you can definitely put castor oil in your ear, but you know what I would do? Um, I would do like a cotton ball soaked with castor oil and just put it in your ear canal. I don't think you necessarily need to drip it in. However, I don't think it would be bad. I don't know though. Um, I mean, I put, when you, if anyone ever has an ear infection, garlic oil, you can drip right into your ear. So I don't really, I don't see why you couldn't do castor oil in your ear, but I mean, it is a freaking, it penetrates deep. So I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, did I answer every, everything's, everyone's questions? I kind of go all over the place, but the fact that you guys haven't told me to slow down talking and that you're still here with me, thank you. I do talk fast. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> what am I on over here? You guys. Oh, we're up to 7,000 likes. I think that's good up there. That That's good. I think it just... It tells TT that you guys like me and it will push me to the FYP. Oh, I think if you guys write, if you also, I mean, you don't have to, but if you write hashtag FYP, oh my God, I don't even know how to work my iPad, you guys, FYP. But let's talk about skincare next. Does that sound good? Oh, he's, oh, oh, oh. You guys, right there, I did hashtag FYP if you guys want to do that. And also, the, there's my Susan's Favorite Things account. Make sure you're following that because I'm going to talk about these awesome cleansing pads. And they always freaking sell out. So literally, like, maybe it's a good thing. This, this is a, a sign that I these videos, these haven't gone viral on my main account because I can't make videos because I'm restricted. Um, Cher, I am so glad that there are people. I, at first, I wasn't sure about talking about being open. Thank you, guys. I love it. I wasn't sure about talking about you know living in Washington State and having different views of, of everyone else. However, I, I'm realizing like that was another thing that was just brainwashed. There are a lot of people who have our same views. And this political year coming up, I don't know. My Our older son is literally, he's the only Republican in his AP government class. I mean, we have, he has had to fight and fight. And my younger son, same thing. Like he has a teacher who, oh God, it's not like I'm trying to say like, we know more than them, but my, they have done so much. Re my kids have had to do so much research because they are so, everyone just believes what they've been told, right? Like no one's, people who haven't done the research about, I don't know, Trump, for example, like I'm not saying he's some wonderful guy by any means, but give me a break. Like it's just, and that's what's going on. And then Biden. Oh, what a joke. I, I feel so, it used to be funny. Biden used to be funny to me, but now I just feel like he needs to be in a nursing home. Like it, it literally breaks my heart. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, do we want to talk about skincare? <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'm hearting my own thingy. Um, 
Okay. Did I get my headband thing? Hold on, you guys. I need to grab my... Okay, my foot's asleep. Ah! Hold on. I'll be right back. Oh, my gosh. My foot's asleep. Do you know that I'm already feeling just so much happier that I jumped on this live? I don't know why the freaking frack... It, it is elderly abuse. It is, I completely agree. Okay, I see. And that's the other thing, you guys, like... Being me being restricted on this app and like Trump and Barbara O'Neill, it's yeah, it's it just it goes to show that they do not want us to heal ourselves at home naturally, they don't want us to take care of ourselves. Um, and you know, the reason why they hate Trump so much is because he's not a politician, it's because he's you know, we need a businessman around the country, don't you agree? Like, when people ask me who I'm voting for, I'm like, I'm voting for the guy who's gonna put America first, <laughs> okay. You guys, these are the Kojic Acid Turmeric Cleansing Pads. Brightening, wrinkles, age spots. I have been going, I've been under so much stress that I've been going after my skin and eating sugar and shitty things. But not only that, I'm such a picker, like I self-soothe. So these are gonna be so good at brightening things back up. Um, okay, so you can, you can get a lather on the back of your hand, but so many people love to do this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and exfoliate Alexa. Set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes. Sorry. I'm sorry if I set off anyone else's. Yesterday I was setting off other people's. <laughs> they hate that we can think for ourselves. I know. It's so, but I'm glad that I can go on these lives because so far I haven't gotten any restrictions. I haven't gotten any pop-up messages. So I feel like I can speak pretty freely. And so I'm hoping that my castor oil people will come over here. And you know what? If I can just build an audience in the mornings, I make zero money. But it's okay. You know what? I don't care. I've saved so much. And maybe this time right now is just for me to build an audience and make friends. And you know what I mean? Okay. So we're going to exfoliate for one minute. And this is brightening. You guys, if you have any dark spots on your elbows or your knees, you can totally use it there. Um, the, okay. These are, you, these, the other thing, these are TikTok exclusive. I'm not kidding. You need to go to my, they're, they're, they're P H O R is the company for essentials and then Kojic acid and turmeric cleansing pads. If you go to my Susan's, Susan's favorite things accounts, um, they don't have orange extract, but they have chamomile. Hold on. Um, chamomile. Oh, they have lemon and orange peel. I'm so glad you asked that. Okay. Turmeric, turmeric extract, chamomile hydrolate, cocoa glyceride, vegetable glycerin, something, something, B5, lemon and orange peel, kojic acid, vitamin C, and, pres and natural preservatives, blah, blah, blah. Um, so if there, I have a video that I just made about them, you guys, if you want to purchase them, that's what I would do because I've only seen them on this app. But I freaking love it, and I'm even thinking about how nice this will be for like camping and things, you know? Um, and plus the exfoliating side is just a gentle exfoliant and it's so nice. I love a good exfoliant, you know what I mean? Oh, you are? Isn't that Sharon? How did you even, how did you even figure out that you were allergic to orange? Like how random? Oh, did Susie Q just join? I love it. Okay, then we're gonna flip it over and use the soft side. And you guys, when I say these sell out, they freaking do, so. I'm not kidding. I actually just bought, I bought another bag right before I made the video just in case it went viral. I've had so many videos go viral, but on my Susan's Favorite Things account, it's still, you know, it's still new, but that's okay. We'll get there. Everything happens for a reason. That is the main fucking thing I have learned over these years. Everything happens for a reason. The, the rock bottom I went, went through and the people who freaking used and abused me and treated me like garbage and made me feel like crapola, Thanks. I'm almost thankful for them because it's made me who I am, right? It's made my husband and I so much stronger. Like, we are a whole new relationship since um, me going through this emotional breakdown. So these are called Kojic Acid and Turmeric Cleansing Pads. And Brenda, you need to go to my Susan's Favorite... Oh, Alexa, off. You need to go to my Susan's Favorite Things account um, uh, to purchase them. And you need to actually go to the video because I don't have a freaking storefront. I mean, it's the whole thing, you guys. I appreciate your support. Please make sure you're following me up there. Make sure you're following. Oh, shit. Don't do, don't do that one. 
You can follow the Castor Oil Things account too if you want. If you're looking for the pads, go to my Susan's Favorite Things page and it's my first video that I just made. I That's where you can get them. I would, and you guys, I'm just, I'm gonna ask, and it's funny because I asked yesterday and no one's doing it, but that's okay. Actually, one person did. If you guys could please go to my videos on my Susan's Favorite Things account and leave a comment. Hey, Susan, repost them, that little arrow at the bottom right there, repost it. It just, I could really use your support. I'm gonna be on every morning doing this, but um, I could use your, your, use your support. I'm gonna go wash this off real quick. Hold on, real quick. Oh, it was my, I know what fell is my glow tech, my glow tech pro mask that fell. Eh. Oh, how do I get it? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, now, so my goal is to just get, get my skin back on track this month. And I had used this glow tech pro mask for five weeks consecutively, like six months ago. And my skin was transformed. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like now. And I'm 43, and I'd say I'm doing pretty good. You guys, my acne, my pockmark, or my um, my pigmentation was really, really, really bad, like my whole life. And so I've done um, okay, great. Um, I've I've really upped my skincare game because I'm not doing Botox. I'm not into injections. Um, so I am doing things I can do at home. So these are copper peptides, and I use them with the um. The Glow Tech Pro Masks. Do you guys know the benefits of light therapy? Like not only for our skin, but literally for like our immune system and also improving our mood. My son and his baseball team, they are all going through like some strep throat. My, my son doesn't have it because I gave him so many anti-inflammatories. Like he had jammed his thumb. So I started loading him up with anti-inflammatories. Then everyone on the team started getting strep throat, but I had already like, I had already made it. He, he got through it. I mean, he had a little sore throat yesterday. Um, if you take one teaspoon of the stuff in the brown bottle, HP, and dilute it with water, gargle, gargle throughout the day, there you go. Saunas. Oh, you know what I want to get, Cher? Oh, sorry, pigmentation. What do you do for the pigmentation? So these tum turmeric or turmeric cleansing pads are super good for pigmentation. Um, the, actually, I'm going to put this on real quick. Okay, so real quick, you guys. This is the Glowtech Pro Mask, and you can, there's a link, um, there's a link above my videos if you're interested in it. But I'm gonna do red light for 10 minutes and it also goes red light for 10 minutes and then you can do blue light for 10 minutes. The red light is good for the brightening but also you guys, it is a mood enhancer. So I also have a neck one and literally I put it on my son's neck yesterday because it helps healing and I mean, it's it's so great. Um, but yeah, so a few weeks ago, or no, a few weeks ago, few months ago, I used this mask every single day for, for five weeks. And after two weeks, my pores had shrunk so dramatically that, and I've worked with the same esthetician for 20 years or yeah, 20, like 23 years. And we were shocked at my results. So I, um, I was really consistent with it and it, the red light is good for collagen boosting. So we're talking wrinkles, um, any, uh, acne spots that might be there, like brightening and yeah, it's good for the mood too. You can get to share. It's, they're so great. And the cool thing about it. So like I used it consecutively for the five weeks. I should have continued to use it, right? Like one day a week for whatever, but I didn't. And, um, it's getting bright outside now so I can turn my little thingy off. And I got so freaking stressed out. And so I just pick, pick, pick. And my skin, I feel like I'm starting at square one. But hey, how great. Then I can make videos. And um, you heard that tanning beds are beneficial? I think that's why I have my C marks. What is the light levels on the mask? I don't know if there's actual levels. It's just an on-off situation. So you have 10 minutes of the red and then 10 minutes of the blue if you want. And the blue is for like bacteria and acne and things like that. Um, you only need to do it like every other day. But I'm someone when I, when I start doing something, like even like the laser hair removal, you guys, I'm like hair free on my legs. I actually, I need to do it again because I have these strips that I obviously missed. But 
when the, even when I did the laser hair removal, it was one of those things where like you only had to do it three to five times a week. But for me, it was easier for me to have a consistency. So like, I seriously want you guys to watch my skin improve in front of your eyes. I'm hoping that I can be consistent with, with doing, with doing this. Cause it's fun. And also like treat yourself. Right. So this thing, I think it's like, I think it's like $300 if you want to know. Um, but I used it six months ago and now I'm using it again. So like I, this is an investment that I will, I will use. And then I use, like, you could put this, you guys, if you're trying to regrow hair, put it right here. If you have chest acne, I mean, you can use this mask anywhere. You can use it on your, if you have varicose veins, if, if spider veins, like, you know what I mean? Share, I will, okay, share. I'll have to make a fucking video about the laser hair removal device so you can know where to purchase it because all my accounts are restricted that I can sell things on. <laughs> okay. So Cher, I, um, I use it on my legs and my arms, my underarms, and even like I was going to use it on my neckline. I was really good. Um, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I was really good about doing it on my legs though. So I need, I'm going to do like another round. I just think like even with the, the mask, it's something like, you know, you need to be consistent with it, right? Grounding pads and sheets, do they hurt? So I am obsessed with my grounding mat, you guys. The benefits of grounding and so right now like I said I'm going to turn my camera around real quick so you can see it's gloomy out this is my little bird setup I need to go feed them actually there's no birds out there right now um but it's gloomy out and so I just have not been like getting outside and getting my all the time whenever I have like a down whenever I have a down moment I just walk right over to my grounding mat there it is I freaking love this thing I mean, it just and I always have it plugged in. And so, but I hear what you're saying as far as like, because here I'm also, and oh, the great thing about this Glowtech Pro mask is you can, you walk around with it. So I literally just have it. I can put it in my pocket. Isn't that great? So that was like the big selling point was, was not being restricted. Cause you know, I can't sit around. I can't just sit around and do nothing. That's boring for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so so yeah, here there's like these benefits of the grounding, but then anything that's plugged in admits EMFs. So I do not even know. I mean, I'm not even kidding. One thing I always end up talking about is shungite stone, right? And even the stuff that was falling right here. Oops. These are shungite necklaces. So getting something like a stone, I mean, these things, where's my cue? This shungite stone is so like... You guys, it's not like a crystal woo-woo thing. It literally is made of 98% carbon and it absorbs the EMFs. And EMFs are these electric magnetic fields that come, even this that I'm wearing right now, it's admitting EMFs, the phones, everything around us, Wi-Fi. If you have, oh, sorry. If you have Wi-Fi in your house, um, oh, thank you, Trojan. Um, <clears throat> if you have Wi-Fi in your house, like there are definitely major studies that are showing how harmful the Wi-Fi and electrodes and, you know, our cell phones. I mean, I think in France, they got rid of one of the, one of the iPhones. Like it was just admitting too much radiation. So definitely um, on the back of your phones, you know, you should always have like stickers. I mean, we should, you know, try and do as much as you can. Like we're not, like these are all EMF protectors. This one is actually Shungite. Um, and this is, Again, this is stuff you can Google. This is not Susan woo-woo crystal stuff. My son, let me turn my phone back on here. My son, the one with the sinusitis surgery, or he avoided sinusitis, we avoided sinusitis surgery from doing castor oil, a parasite cleanse, um, but also he is someone who always wears shungite. And it's, he was the one who was wearing these uh, necklaces but we he broke like three of them because he was playing baseball and swimming and like doing things in them um I still have them because obviously they still work they're just unwearable but he is someone like I knew the moment he, he wasn't wearing shungite because he would be so congested isn't that incredible like so every time a necklace would break I would have to quickly get another one so now he just wears one on a pendant and I have everything you guys there's a link above my videos that will take you to like my Amazon storefront I can't I'm not allowed to say it um hi Yvette <laughs> I just saw that you joined um so anyways but if you're interested in like shungite but every I just I 
I usually have like four or five of these bracelets on, but whenever I talk to someone or I, I mean, it just, I have these, I have these very impactful conversations with people, you know, even at a baseball game. Right. And I end up giving away a Shungite uh, bracelet because it's crazy how it can improve your mood. And it really does absorb all these electronics. So I went from retiring from doing hair and breathing in all these chemicals to now being around electronics all day long. And when on this account, on my Susan doing Susan things account, I mean, we're, we're closing in on 200,000 followers. That was work. You know what I mean? Like I was on my phone editing videos and researching. And I mean, so it's like I changed one hazard for another, but we can't avoid it. There's so many things we can't avoid. So that's why there are things like Shungite. I, I'm going to keep going like this, but I'm not wearing my necklace, but you know what I mean? And same with like when we eat bad or whatever else, like I'm not, I mean, I wish I had a perfect diet. I go through these times in my life where I have like the perfect diet. Now is not that time, but that is why I take things like Shilajit and black seed oil and making sure to get, you know, the inflammation under control in our bodies. You know what I mean? So if you, um, but yeah, if you are interested here, I'm going to leave some hearts again. So make sure you're, you know, if you're interested in those one pads and if you're interested in this, um, glow tech pro mask, there is a link you guys right there above all my videos. So I have three accounts and the link is the same link oop, in all my videos. And if you just scroll down, we got castor oil. We got my vitamins and supplements. I recommend Shmamazon. Parasite cleanses, and then there's that Glow Tech Pro mask right there. So, anyways, if you're interested, um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I love my energy too. You know, when you go through, when you go through your crap, you end up. I'm so thankful for life, but I, I have, I've been going through some very. It's been very hard these last few weeks. Has anyone else been going through it these last few weeks? Because I feel like. It's in the universe. Like so many people are going through crap right now and it's how we get through it. But man, you guys, it just, it's made me not want to make videos. And, and so I don't know, I feel like I'm just trying to figure out, I'm just at this crossroads. I'm very much, I'm very much confused at what I'm supposed to be doing right now. However, our son is graduating. Our younger son is going to be going into high school. Like we're so freaking busy. And, you know, I just need to know like, this is a happening for a reason. I'm, I am allowed to have these slow days or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I can't get down though. I can't give up, right? Like that, that can't be it. And I feel like as long as I, um, when it's cloudy, it's worse for you. You know what? I'm so glad. Okay. So now my red is off and then I can push it back on and I could do blue for 10 minutes, but I'm not going to just because I feel like you guys don't want to not see my face. <laughs> so anyways, isn't that cool? The Glow Tech Pro mask. I highly recommend it. I mean, and they sent me, um, so it's funny, like I invested in this mask for myself, but, and I did videos like kind of organically. And then the company was like, Hey, if you're making videos for us, let's da da da. They sent me these really cool, um, like clear, a clear mask that I can put on. And then my Glow Tech then the mask. So I'm going to do that on Friday. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my oils. Actually, do you guys want to see all my oils? Why not? Let's just come together. Come together right now over me. Okay. I, so this is my apartment. And like I said, I live separately from my family. So my, my house is over there. <laughs> um, and so, and right here is all my oils. Like I, I have a lot. And usually what I do in the mornings, this is fun just carrying you guys around. I kind of want to do like a, an all day long live, like hang out with me all day long, have my energy. I always get itchy nose when I do my things. Okay. Emu oil is what I'm going to do. Emu oil is so freaking amazing. It's so hydrating. It doesn't absorb well. So like today, oh, you know what though? I do have errands to run today. You know what? I changed. Oh, but I haven't. Shoot. Okay. I haven't showered yet, but my skin is clean, clean, but I have errands to run. Is it errands? Um, I moved out separately. Like actually it was homecoming when I slept over here the first night. Okay. Hold on. I need to think about my day. Do I want to put makeup on? <laughs> put on a hat. 
Why? I like my hair. I'm more... Okay, I'm gonna do emu oil and prickly pear. Okay, you guys, the prickly pear, I have to get my notes about the prickly pear, but when, anytime you're putting, I'm just gonna go back over here. I was gonna maybe do a little frankincense, darn it, okay. Um, okay, so my biggest tip, whether you wanna spend $300 on a Glowtech Pro mask or not, there's so many things that we can do for our skin that you don't have to spend money on. Like maybe tomorrow morning I'll do the honey mask, but um, one of the best ways, I swear to you, to put your oils, lotions, and potions, I don't know if there's any 30-year-olds on here, start doing this now. When you put your lotions on, definitely stimulate your skin. Like, get in there and start, like, tapping on your skin. And I do it pretty hard. Do you hear that? You guys, every time you tap, and you can do this on your arms, your legs, like, it is stimulating collagen production. It is breaking up cellulite, not on your face. But you know what I mean? Like, Every time, like you start doing this, like five minutes on your face, five minutes on your body, you tell me, I know prickly pear is incredible. I swear to you, you will start to see results. I mean, when people get like, I don't know if you saw that at one point, there's those people that were doing like needling. It's the same idea. Like we are, let's take that off. We are stimulating the blood cells. We are stimulating blood flow. I mean, even if, like I said, like on your cellulite or on, on our arms, like, why not? Why not stimulate it? Plus, it really is a stress reliever. Sometimes if I have, um, I didn't put that much oil on today because I think what I'm going to end up doing is just doing kind of like a, like just cover up my red marks. I need to go to, um, I have to go, I have Shmamazon returns to do. I have to get some local honey. You know what's so cute, you guys? Here, I'm going to show you my view. Now my birds are out too. Well, a little bit of them. Turning you around. So there's some of my birds coming in, but right down there, like literally right down there, that's the farm I'm going to go to, to get my, um, to get my local honey. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so local honey is so good for us, especially if you have allergies or, um, well, especially for allergies or if you're fighting off anything like local honey is full of antibacterial, any fungal, it's like nature's antibiotic. Um, yeah, the tapping. Oh my gosh, and the tapping is so good if you're stressed out. Like if you end up with a little panic attack or something like and you're in public and you start tapping your collarbone, oh my gosh, you guys, it is so like instant stress reliever. And then like, you know, of course we're like puffy in the mornings. You guys, the only place I get, not the only place, like I get so puffy right there. I have so much loose skin. Where does skin come from? You turn 40 and all of a sudden you get eyeball skin. And the other thing I've learned too, like I've stopped doing like, any sort of like powdery type makeup. I have started just putting my liquid foundation in my rosemary, rose hip oil and using that, it's been working really, really well. And then like, um, even I don't really wearing shadow, but you know, like those bronzers that you can like add to the highlighted area. I've been using that like right here just to give it a little shimmer. Cause I feel like the dewier I look the younger or like the less wrinkles come out. You know what I mean? Cause they're, I mean, ugh. It is what it is. I mean, this big ass forehead. Okay. God, I'm just thinking like if I need, if I want to make any money off like the laser hair removal and stuff, I'm going to have to do a video about it, which is fine because yeah. So I think you guys, what I'm going to do now, let's talk about my game, my plan of action for my life. Okay. I need some advice. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oops. I think what I'm going to do Okay, so I'm gonna just heart down here. I'm just gonna, you know, if you guys make sure you're connected with my Susan's favorite things and up there. Um, I think what I'm gonna, I, I just, I'm, I'm at this again. I'm at this crossroads. So on my main account, oh, oil. You age is a secret tip. Been doing it for years. Yeah, I know, right? Oops, almost swiped you away. Um, I first, you know, because I of course thought oils. You know what? I'm going to go grab my, hold on. I'm going to grab my castor. Oh shit. Do I have my castor oil over here? My family. Oh, here it is. Gosh. And you know what, you guys, I need to do an, a video about castor oil too on my Susan's favorite things account. Ugh, just, I 
Anyways, okay, so if you wanna use castor oil for hair growth, it's as easy as this. You wanna get super, whenever you use castor oil, high quality, organic, hexane free, cold pressed in a glass bottle. Um, oops. Oh yeah, local honey. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my castor oil and it's so thick, you guys. Oh shit, I just realized that I'm gonna go run errands though. Gosh darn it. Wear a hat. Who said that earlier? I'll wear a hat. Okay, so you just take your castor oil and you just literally put it in the areas that you want your hair to grow. And it is such a thick oil. But another tip about growing hair is move your entire scalp. Isn't that funny? Like it's it, it's legit. Like move your whole scalp and it helps with hair hair uh, growth. I you know I I lose hair when I'm stressed and right here is my I love how what I look like right now people that are joining like what? But I, you know, I'm a stressor. I mean, high energy also can mean high stress. I know how to deal with my stress so much. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> I know how to deal with my stress so much better now. But um but even, nonetheless, I mean, it just you know, it happens. And I think as we age, I mean, I'm a retired hairstylist, so I've watched my poor clients go through this. We just tend to thin around our hairline, which is so annoying. But castor oil, even on your ends is really good. Now, right now, my hair is, um, I wore it curly the last few days and I've had some pretty aggressive night sweats. So, um, I just need to get it washed is what I need to do. Wouldn't that be fun just to like stay live all day long and just like shoot the shit? Okay, let's talk about local honey. So like local honey is one of those things where, yeah, it's like nature's kind of like vaccine. Like, um, I have a towel around here. Um, the bees jump around and are getting pollen from all the, you know, things around and then you're taking it internally and it helps with your allergies. So like I, um, so like I said earlier, my son's baseball team, they're all dealing with like strep and stuff like that. And so I've been making little care packages for them. Like my son was like, mom, so, and so, um, you know, is, it has a really bad sore throat and, and can you make him something? And so I totally got him. Well, the first thing I did was I got tablespoon of local honey and then I did about an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper so the cayenne pepper not only is good for you know pain inflammation and boosting your immune system but it also helps soothe the um the throat isn't that interesting um oh great hair tie up thanks <laughs> oh isn't that funny Trojan everyone has their probably their own way to do like a top knot right that's funny thank you I appreciate that I drink my, I don't even drink my coffee when I do these lives. Isn't that funny? I just, I have not had any coffee today. This is just me. Nate, I am, that's the one thing that worked really well for my husband too, is like, I was such a morning person and then he's more of like a, a nighttime, nighttime guy. Okay. Okay. Well, did anyone, was anyone interested in these pads? Aren't they cool? So those are on my Susan's favorite things account. Um, Okay, I think what I'm going to do real quick, you guys, is feed my birds. Think of questions to ask, and then I'm just going to let, we're just going to do my bird routine real quick. Good morning, birdie birds. Good morning, my babies. Good morning, birdie birds. I read over these. Did you like those? I don't know if you like those or not. That's some sewer. Okay, get some nuts. My birds all know my voice because, you know, how could they not? <laughs> Does anyone else love birds? I am a bird nerd. And in my retirement, this is what I've done to my deck. Isn't it hideous? I mean, I just, it's so funny. Oh, prickly pear, yes. Okay, I'm, I'll come back. Let me just get these, let me get my, um, let me get these set up real quick. Good morning, birdie birds. Good morning, my babies. Kinda wet out today, guys. Okay, nice need to get some nuts. Need to get peanuts for my Stellar's Jays. And then we will talk about prickly pear because prickly pear is actually a new oil to me as well. Right, 
lovely pair. Let's do it. One second. Light some sage. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna find my notes. Find my notes. I love all my birds that come. <coughs> Makes me so excited. Um, <coughs> Levine, <coughs> Levine Rose <coughs> is the company that I really love. Okay. Last night I did, I was so proud of myself. I'm such a researcher. I consolidated, I have all, I've taken, I'm like obsessed with taking notes and I consolidated them all so, so I could, easier for me to read. Okay. So I have my grounding benefits. Oh, and the Celtic sea salt I was going to talk about too. I forgot. Okay, where's my, where's my prickly pear notes? Copper peptides, turmeric, copper water bottle, shilajit, prickly pear. It was on the bottom. Okay. So let me tell you about prickly pear, which it's over there. And I haven't even, I think maybe it's in my Amazon storefront, but I, I'll have to do a video about it today so you can purchase it from me. Oh, I'm so annoyed that my accounts are down. Why is this happening to me? Okay, anyways. Um, prickly pear seed oil. Supreme skin renewal. Prickly pear seed oil has vitamin E, A, K, and D. Fatty acids for radiant, elastic, hydrated skin. Effortless application with a non-greasy, fast-absorbing formula and convenient pipette. I don't know why, what that means, actually. P-I-P-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. What does that mean? Like a pipette? Like why? Why? What, what is it? <laughs> Year-round protection against rough elements in any season. So this prickly pear stuff um, oil has actually gone gone viral. And the company, um, th this company is another company that I have been using Levine Rose Emu Oil for like, I don't know, 10 years. And then I was making videos about it. And then the company's like, hey, if you're going to make videos about our oils, can we send you some? And I'm like, yeah. So um, anyways, they sent me the prickly pear oil. So cool. <laughs> inhaled wrong um hair care visibly beauty um tool for glossy vibrant hair nourishes and revitalizes hair um so i bet you can even put it on yeah i don't know if you would put it on after oh prickly prickly pear cactus seed oil yeah prickly pear and it comes in like a little bottle and i think it's it might be in my amazon storefront let's see <laughs> Let's see. Okay, and remember, you guys, if you, there's a link, there's a link above all my videos that will take you to my Amazon storefront, like, takes you to this link, link tree, and then we can go to Amazon storefront, and we'll go to natural skin. I love that I don't know where my own stuff is. Okay, natural skin and body care, tape talks. Oh yeah, oh, I only have my Levine Rose Rose. Yeah, I need to add all my stuff to my Amazon storefront. Okay, let's do it. Prickly, prick, prickly pear cactus seed oil. Okay, here we go. So it looks like that and I'm going to add it to my storefront or to my yeah to my storefront right now it'll be the first one you see actually I should add all my oils okay natural skin and body care and you guys go, check out my you know Amazon storefront and stuff it's I mean there's ever I've done all the research like if you want like I don't know clean ingredients and things that you're putting on your body like I'm I'm your girl Okay, we need to do Levine Rose. I need to add all my oils, you guys. Because I just, I don't know what's going on. Ooh, what's, what's Batana oil? That's cool. Um, rose hip oil. Is that what I use? Rose hip oil is my favorite. Rose hip oil. Um, oh, so I wish I had a legit foundation recommendation i it's just it, it's 
Um, I, years ago when I turned 40, I went to Nordstrom's. You know, you can go to Nordstrom's and they will give you a free makeup tutorial and then, you know, hopefully you just buy their stuff. I go to Nordstrom's and this beautiful black voluptuous woman walks up to me, makeup, right? Full. And I'm like, um, I just want to look natural, like a 40, you know, a 40 year old. And so she was so freaking great. Um, and so I'll show you, I'll show you what foundation. And I don't even know if I, I was, I use, I use foundation and makeup so infrequently, like only if I'm going to be seen in public. So I honestly don't even know if the ingredients are clean, if I can be completely honest with you. Um, but, and I just bought another one. This is empty. I just bought another one because I think it was like $80, but it's, um, Sicily. Does that help? I, yeah, public wear only. Yeah. So what I, I don't know if it's so much the foundation. Okay. So that, and let me show you too, because I've been mixing, um, I've been mixing different sunscreens, which I'm, I hate, I'm not a fan of sunscreen, but I'm also not a fan of wrinkles and age spots and doing all this work with like, you know, spending $300 on a glow tech pro mask and then going outside in the sun. I don't think so. So I also have, I have all the clean, I have all the different clean tinted sunscreens and what I literally do is I take like because I don't want them to expire because <laughs> I'm frugal I take a pump of probably all of these they're all like <laughs> I get it and then I take a squirt so in my hand I'll have like seven things I swear no I'll do a pump a little baby pump of all these and then a squirt of foundation and then a little bit of rosemary oil and then I just massage it in and it. It, it's been working really well for me. So it, I, and at first, so I, I massage it all in. I should have just done it. I'll do it tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, I know. I love tinted sunscreens and I feel like if they're clean, then, you know, but it's weird how I got, uh, I never wore sunscreen until I did. And then I ended up with all these C spots that I've had to get removed since using sunscreen. The sun is another huge conspiracy theory, you know, like that I am all about. Like they, they tell us that the sun is bad, but actually the sun like improves our eyesight, improves our mood, like sun gazing, like not looking at the sun, but letting the sun get into your eyes. It, it's, it literally like we need it. Like even squinting those eye muscles, we're supposed to be using those. Like it's for improved eyesight. Like and if we get out in the sun in the mornings and let the sun go into your eyes, it will tell your body to produce more melanin and it will say, okay, we're preparing ourselves for the sun. So sunscreen wasn't, isn't a thing, wasn't a thing, right? Back in the day. Like, I don't know. It's, 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 uh, you know, rosacea, I would definitely look internally first. Um, you look into anti-inflammatory supplements. Like anytime we have skin conditions, psoriasis, eczema, um, look internally, I would, Highly recommend a parasite cleanse. We totally got rid of our entire family's, well, me and my son's psoriasis and eczema patches by doing a parasite cleanse. So, um, oh, you trained your eyes to not be able to wear sunglasses. That is so cool. And like, see, that's the other thing. It's like, I, do I want to squint or do I want this, you know? But I definitely know like in the mornings, I mean, I'm in Washington state. Not that we're gloomy all the time. And it's actually, it's already, you know, I'll turn you around that way. It's already getting pretty out. Um, I have a bouquet of flowers out there because it just attracts more birds. Did you guys know if you cut up oranges and put them out that it'll just attract more birds? Oh, you know what I have back here? Does everyone know about the benefits of like Celtic sea salt and putting Celtic sea salt on your tongue too? There's just so many things that we can do naturally to like improve our mood, improve our health. I mean, and things that you can do for like, I mean, Celtic sea salt I think has gotten a little expensive, but let's have salty. We should make a tally mark of how many things I dropped during my lives. Don't give me psoriasis. I could talk all day about psoriasis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's get ready. I don't even have notes about psoriasis. It's all up in my noggin. Psoriasis is another thing where, okay, you guys, it's 623 and I'm going to get off at 630, just so you know. So please make sure you're following all my accounts and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Psoriasis is definitely something that I would look into internally. So again, acne, rosacea, anything that we have. I'm going to have a light on. Sorry. That's so annoying. Eee. Um, anything that we have going on in our bodies is it's all it's all from freaking inflammation it doesn't matter I mean it just it just is right we can try to be the best we can but 
just the way we all live our lifestyles, like we all have inflammation, we're all dealing with it. So I would look into, um, sorry, I'm getting like all ADHD, aren't I? There we go. I would look into good anti-inflammatory supplements and I have them all in my Shamazon storefront. Black seed oil, Shilajit are such great things to add to your body. Um, Chrissy, I have an entire playlist about parasite cleanses. There's different ones that you can do. Um, but you know what's weird is um, Shamazon took down all their parasite cleanses, but you can still do the frozen castor oil one. But then topically, um, you know, <coughs> I actually am not positive topically about rosacea because I really do feel like that's the one you really do have to get internal. Like even psoriasis and, um, um, show, okay, are you going to be live like this early? I, mean, I miss you because I'm just getting to turn you on. Um, well, so what time is it there? It's 6 30 AM here. Oh, well, Siri, I, I'm going to try and get on every morning from five to six 30, like regardless. And then I am going to try and just get on during the day more. Like, I like just having you guys with me and carrying you around. So I think if I can, I, I want to try and get on more. <laughs> and it, oh, it's 924 there. Yeah. So it's like when I, so many people are in a different time zone than me. I feel like I'm, I'm earlier. So it, the early mornings work well for me. And then I just is like, you know, Oh, you're, yeah, don't use a steroid, Chrissy, whatever you do. It just makes matters worse. I it just, that is the perfect example of freaking pharmaceutical companies putting a Band-Aid on it. Once it could, it just, it might work for a little bit and then it just fucks everything up. So I would use castor oil, um, coconut oil, um, you know, things like that where you, you can't, it's not going to do anything bad. It's, you know, where like pharmaceuticals, um, it, they just, oh God, they pissed me off. Like, this is my pharmaceutical thing. Pharmaceuticals are putting a bandaid on the situation and they are literally hurting all these other situations. Most likely your liver and your heart. When you do a natural supplement like black seed oil and you're like, oh, I'm going to take black seed oil to improve my immune system. And then all of a sudden it's clearing your skin and it's reducing your asthma and it's, you know, helping, it's just helping so many other things. So you take a supplement for one thing, it's helping all these other things. You take a pharmaceutical for one thing and it's hurting so many others. There's a time and place like my son, um, he's had, oh my gosh, we, we've just been through it in this family, but he hurt his thumb really bad, like literally like diving catch collision with another kid during baseball, like really bad jammed thumb. And um, so he's been doing castor oil on it at night. And then um, pharmaceuticals, I was like, what was I talking about? And then he also, like I said, half the freaking team has strep throat. So he came home with like the sniffles. Um, Oh, pharmaceutical. I keep getting, like, I keep being sidetracked. It's because I have to go start waking up my family. So now my brain is in mom mode. Um, so anyways, I loaded him up with oregano oil and black seed oil and all the, all the regular things. But then I also gave him a Tylenol and ibuprofen because there's no reason to be in pain. Right. And then we did the red light therapy on his neck. So there's just so many things that we can do. All right, hi, Shan. I'm leaving. <laughs> I got to go wake up my family with foot rubs. So that's what, that's what I do. I live separately. However, they get hooked up. So, um, my younger, my older son hopefully is awake right now journaling because that's been that he got in a little bit of trouble. So I've been asking him to like, we don't like ground our kids or anything like that, but I'm like, okay, you need to get up and you need to journal. And <laughs> he just got Asher up. I love it. Um, you can use um, black seed oil topically and or in pill form. So I don't mind just drinking black seed oil, but people think it just tastes like motor oil and it's disgusting. My family takes it in pill form. And then you can also use it topically for like all the skin conditions. I mean, it's so good for your skin and like, antioxidants and there's so many, so many benefits to black seed oil. Um, okay, so as everyone, make sure everyone is following me up there. Make sure everyone is following and please, please, you guys, if you don't mind, if you have time, go to my Susan's Favorite Things account, show it some love. It's my only account that I am able to sell things on right now. So <laughs> that, that's where I stand, but I will be, yeah, I'll be live tomorrow morning and then I may, what am I doing today? We have a baseball game this afternoon. I might be able to go live this afternoon though. I need to go to UPS. I have returns to do. I need to get some local honey. And there's one more errand I had to run. Oh, I need to go to the eye doctor for my son. He's 18, but there's just certain things, you know, he's busy. There's just certain things that you gotta, that you gotta do. 
for your for your kids. Okay, well, I hope everyone has just the freaking, um, hope you guys all have the best day. And thank you for joining me this morning. Make sure you're following. And if you could just, when you see my videos show up, just say hi, Susan, and repost them and like them. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Just want to be crafty. Do you want me to follow? Oh, hey, you guys, if anybody wants me to follow. Oh, it's a private account. Sorry. If anybody wants me to follow them, please just put up a heart. I would, I would love to follow and support you as well. If anyone wants anyone to follow them, I, I'm such a supporter. I will watch your videos. Oh, good, Chrissy. I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm so glad. Oh, you know, I'm getting off Lynn, but thank you for sharing it. Okay, you guys, 629. Okay, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow morning or maybe this afternoon. Okay, bye everyone. Love, love, love.